Hey guys, this is Carcan again with a new video, and today I'm going to show you the easiest way to install Arch Linux. Uh, no, you're not going to see a terminal a lot. Um, a lot of people like Arch and they want to install it, but a lot of them are afraid of the terminal and they don't want to read through the wiki. Some of them find it really difficult. I don't think it's that difficult. Uh, you could do it if you try a couple of times, you just need to be patient. But this installer is for people who don't want to go through, go through the terminal or the Arch wiki. It's for those who just want to install it and enjoy Arch. Uh, the installer is called uh, Kalama, Column, Column Arch Installer, sorry. And it's made by this gentleman right here. I think it's made by this gentleman. It's called, uh, his name is uh, Kaiknos123, uh, about a year ago. And what he does is he, he built a Column Aries installer for Arch and it starts an XFCE desktop. And then from there you choose stuff like right here um, you partition your disk and everything and here you can choose your desktop environment and everything else it does install vanilla arch so don't expect too much uh, it's just basically installing the basics for you uh, so you can go from there and install yourself so I have a video I'm gonna link in the cards above and in the description uh, where I show you how to download an ISO and uh, and uh, create a USB uh, flash or a live CD from it. Same thing, exactly. You go to this website, you search you search column uh, column Arch installer, and then it comes up first in Google, and then literally the first one is uh, SourceForge. You just click download, and you save it. Boom. You save the file and you do the same thing like I showed in the video. I'm going to leave it in the, in the cards. After that, you, re you reboot your computer and then you do, uh, you know, you keep pressing on one of the F buttons until you get to where you can choose your uh, USB drive and then you go from there. So I already have it on, on a virtual box. The installation is going to be exactly the same. So the only difference is I'm running in a virtual box for you if you want to run it on hardware. Uh, you can do it there too, but this one we're gonna start in a virtual box and This is a screen you're gonna be greeted with once once literally the same screen as arch So all you have to do is click enter We'll wait for this to finish All right, there it is. Sorry about the cursor is too small. Like I said, I have a 4K screen. It's really weird. So it does have the XFCE uh, uh, desktop. Uh, all you have to do is connect to the internet from the panel right here. I have the, because it's a virtual box, so it looks like it's connected to an ethernet. But for you, you can just connect to Wi-Fi and you call it a day. And then to install it, you go down here to the arch sign, the black uh, icon. See where it says install Arch Linux, you just click it. And then Calamaries opens. And it's just like any other, you know, uh, distro. It's basically just like uh, Manjaro, which uses the same installer. So you choose your language. Uh, mine is English. You click next. And then you choose your region and uh, zone. That's correct for me. You can change it to whatever you want. And then next, you choose your uh, keyboard language and your keyboard layout. And you click next. And here, you choose whatever system you have. Let's say you have uh, EFI or BIOS, whatever. And then you can do erase disk. You delete all the data and let the system decide for you uh, in terms of partitioning. Or you can just do it yourself. And you click manual partitioning and that's up to you um, i'm gonna just do erase disk and now it gives you unpartitioned space or known partition blah blah blah. eight gigs after that arch is eight gigs and then you click uh, next so first uh, the first one is checked these are the basic packages that you need for the system to run that's basically everything you need i wouldn't uncheck this unless you know what you're doing even the person who created this says that actually here let me make it bigger she so says recommend it don't change unless you know what you're what you're doing base base development group 
and some other common utilities, generic. From here on out, you can actually come down here and choose the stuff that you need. It actually even has the the NVIDIA Prime, which is which was a pain for me to install on Arch. But this one, you just literally have to check it and then boom, you're done. And check here and see what kind of NVIDIA you have. If you have GTX 400 plus or if you have uh, GeForce 8000 or more, you check whatever uh, you have. If you have an AMD uh, processor, AMD uh, GPU, all these drivers are for AMD. And if you want to do, and if you have the hybrid uh, graphics like Intel and Nvidia, I would actually check this one too because that will help you switch between both. And accessibility tools, Orca and mouse tweaks. That's something. Uh, it's up to you. I'm not. I'm not sure what Orca is, but I know mouse tweaks. It gives you more, uh, you know more abilities for the for the mouse or more features and here you can choose your desktop um, you have they don't have all the desktops but they have plenty enough they have xfce mate kd gnome and cinnamon budgie deepin and they have a window manager two window managers open box and i3 and at the end they have printer uh, printing support and web browsers i would check this as well uh, for printer if you print and then a web browser you have three browsers you have firefox chromium and oprah i do firefox oprah <laughs> opera opera i don't know um i'm gonna go with deepen because i love this desktop and after you chose whatever you need uh after you go down here click next and then you just put in your name and then choose your password. Uh, password has to be a strong password. Like let's say if I chose one, two, and then do one, two, it says password is shorter than six characters. Uh, I don't know why they force you to do that. It's my freaking laptop. I want to do whatever the heck I want with it, but uh, whatever. You just put a, a longer password. And then if you have the choice to log in automatically, uh, I wouldn't do that personally. And then you have the option to make the root password the same as your regular password or not. I want to make it the same just for the sake of this video. And then you come down here, click next. And then now you, you can read over this. You make sure all the information is correct. Uh, if you are satisfied with, the, with everything here, it's telling you what you have and what's going to make for you. You click install. And then you let it sit until it's done. Okay, I'm going to pause the video and come back to you when it's done. There it is. Boot it up. This is your uh, Deepin login screen. Actually, this is a light DM screen. I'm not sure why they didn't add a Deepin one. But anyway, let's log in. And this is your full-fledged Deepin desktop. It has... Uh, all the basics that will get you up and running and then after that you can go in and download the things that you need it actually even has the pomac add remove software where you can uh, enable uh, the aur and install a lot of packages that are not available in the official repositories so it's actually really good this will help a lot of people uh, for example if your desktop breaks or your system breaks i'm sorry and uh, you know after after a big update or something and instead of going through the whole arch install i know some people do it in 10 minutes not everybody can do it in 10 minutes but some people you know take them a couple of hours instead of going through the whole setup you can just do it through this installer and call it a day so it's functional it's good um if you have any question i think that's it guys uh, if you have any question just let me know uh down in this comment section below uh, thank you for, uh, so much for watching, and uh, again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.